I'd like to, um, if I may, welcome to stage some of my crew and uh, people who made the film with me. First of all is the person who's been with me on this journey that started five years ago. Think very carefully before you decide to make a documentary film. Uh, Nana Armian, my producer. <laughs> Jeffrey Schwartz, my producer. Maybe you saw Jeffrey Zucker. He has two movies in this festival. The movie about the great tap hunter, who's here. Uh, Anya Leda, my associate producer. Amazing researcher. Found those home movies. Eric Martin, my editor and post-production supervisor. My rock editor. My babysitter sometimes, actually. And I'd like to bring up fresh from the Broadway stage where uh, she was literally on the Broadway stage with Kristen Chenoweth and Peter Gallagher, Gallagher in a smash hit, by the way, the reviews are up, um, uh, on the 20th century, Mary Louise Wilson. Just want you to know, she got in at 2 a.m. last night. She left, brought the Broadway theater, and got in a, a car to a plane to here. So to be with here with you tonight. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, okay, I just sort of lost it for a second there. It's a real honor for me as a character actor since I was six years old, and now I'm much older than that. <laughs> it's been a long time. It was a real honor for me. Um, but for you, Ron, it. You predominantly have made your life as a screenwriter, um, Academy Award nominee for Philadelphia, beautiful film. Um, yes, amazing. Um, how did, did, is there any comparison between working in narrative and writing narrative to deciding to do a documentary and, and actually executing that? Well, you know, I think um, a good documentary is a good narrative, you know, and tells a good story. So, I mean, it's something, it's in my nature, it's just what I do. I like to tell stories that sometimes hold court and bore people to death by telling stories sometimes, I think. I love telling stories. I, I dream and uh, in my dreams, I rewrite my dreams sometimes. So it's very natural for me, it, you know, to go there and tell a story. But, you know, I have to say, uh, these things sometimes become mutual admiration events, you know, but it's true. It, making a documentary film, it, the subject is so important, and I have a subject that I, she can't help but be articulate, brilliant, and funny. And it was just, it was such a blessing. You know? So let's just point the camera at Mary Louise and like, eat lunch, and somehow something would happen. And did you feel that you fashioned sort of the story as you went along, or did well, you plan that? You know, I think the truth of documentaries is that you know we sort of sometimes we go to search for the truth and then we sometimes nudge things to happen in a certain way you know we arrange things like hey Mary Louise maybe you'd like to have lunch with your old friends you know and uh, and it seems like they thought of it but actually you know, why I suggested it but you know I didn't tell them what to, to say right um, does anyone have any questions here yes sir fundamental difference is that Sandy Meisner believed in fantasy rather than sense memory. That we all uh, have these, you know, if you have a pet that you adore, you, you sometimes fantasize about the pet's death. You know, you can actually have a whole emotional life that comes from your imagination. That's the main difference. Yes. Uh, I want to thank you for coming here today. 
and I want to tell you that one of your students brought me to tears in the scene in the, in the, in the production, and I'll tell you who that was afterwards, but that means you are a good acting teacher. You learned how to do that. Um, I wanted to know what was the hardest part you ever confronted. The, the hard, what was the hardest part she ever confronted as far as uh, teaching actors? No, 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 no. Oh, no sorry. For myself. Yes. For myself. Oh. Performing. Yeah. The hardest role. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, Grey Gardens wasn't tough. I was in bed. It's fun. Uh, boy. Was it the witch? The witch was. No. Boy, I'm stumped. Uh, huh? Oh, well, one day at a time was very difficult for me. I just didn't get it. This whole business of reaction shots. I, I was from the school of George Abbott. You know, it was all about your delivery and my timing. You know, get it out there. Oh, 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 oh. You know, and the camera would flash and go away. You know, and then linger on Bonnie Franklin for half an hour. <laughs> I just didn't get it when they say they kept me afterwards to react. I said, to what? They said, we just need some reaction shots. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it. It was tough. Well, can I ask you, Mary Louise, what was the hardest part about now trying to teach the craft of acting to their Well, you saw it. Uh, I keep, to this day, reforming what I would say and help them to do. I don't think, looking at what the, the, this, I didn't, I don't, I kept saying, ah, you could have said this, you could have said that, you know, to push them along, you know. But that you, you only get that from experience, you know, from doing some teaching. And one thing I should have told them that is you don't get this in a minute. You've got to keep doing it until you, you connect. It's like anything you do, writing or playing, playing the piano. You have to write to learn to write. You have to repeat to learn to call up what's in you. But you did tell them they'd be good in about 20 years, yeah. actually. <laughs> yes, back there. Um, what's that? You okay, thank you. My producer, I usually, I usually allow her to direct me. Oh. Uh, um, when Mary, I always wanted to go to New Orleans with Mary Louise because that's where she was from, and I thought that'd be great to go to my for my first time to go see that city with some, with her, and it would be to have a blast, be really fun. And then she said, you know, I'm teaching this class, and I thought, ah, you know, the storyteller in me, you know, awakens. I go, hmm, that's kind of interesting. You know, maybe I'll take a little video camera. And then she said, you know, I've never taught acting before. And I said, mm, maybe I'll get a professional camera. <laughs> and maybe I'll even hire um, a, 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 another cameraman and a sound person. So um, the class really, I thought it would give the film uh, a shape. You know, it would have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Yes, I think. were calling him for a copy of the film. And maybe that's what it's about. They want to see these young people. I hope so. Will you be teaching again? Unless I get work. <laughs> <laughs> if I have some spare time, yeah. Well, uh, read, read the New York Times about on the 20th century, and I think she's going to be busy for a while. Yes, that's it. Are you kidding? Yes. Uh, the script was great. It was hilarious. I couldn't believe it. It was like a gift. It was wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. yes, right here. Did, 
did everybody hear? No. Well, well first of all, she said the film was really wonderful. <laughs> And I'm sorry, was there a question? No. Um, how did it evolve over five years? You know, somebody told me before I went down, um, somebody gave some good advice. They said, you know, Ron, don't just don't go shoot a documentary and just think you're just going to shoot everything you see. Actually write the script before you go and start. And you might sort of, you might move away from the script. You might discover something and have a story. So it sort of, I, I kind of knew I wanted to shape, tell her life story. I want to have the class in her life to to intersect and, and interact. And then I think it grew then when I started thinking that it might be interesting to hear some, from some other people, uh, female actors uh, of a certain age who had a certain experience and hear how their experiences sort of were paralleling hers and also the students. So that came into it. And then I have to tell you, thanks to um, my two producers and, and, uh, and, uh, and Jeffrey Schwartz who taught me uh, about a year ago, uh, about the ability that one can use material that is in the public domain, I thought I, I could never afford all those clips. And actually, those of us we have, if we do it respectfully in the right way, we have the ability to use all those film clips. And that was actually a huge transformation of the film. To actually see Mary Louise's work in the film and see the work of Meryl Streep, Melissa Leo, Francis McDormand, etc., etc. So, in some ways, you're getting acting lessons from those those people. So that was an extraordinary leap forward for the film, I think. I have time for one more question. Yes? Yes? Uh, I thought the film was fantastic, and watching it, I actually understand... She said she thought the film was fantastic. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Go ahead. And actually watching it, I understand so much of the stuff my theater professor has me do. It makes so much sense now. But my question is, what's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Any of you can answer. What was the best piece of advice you have ever received? Well, this sounds dumb. Breathe. Hi. <laughs> Breathe. Take breaths. Yeah. yeah. yeah what was the best piece of advice you ever received? That when Ron Nicewiner calls you, you don't let him finish a sentence and you say yes. <laughs> uh, uh, don't ask for permission to do anything. Right. To, to make you to do your work, don't ask for permission. Oh, you ever work really, really, really hard? Yeah, try again. <laughs> I have a good thing. I worked with, I met Ron in 1992 on the movie Philadelphia. 92, we were shooting it, August. 23 years later, I'm still quoting a line from that movie that helps me every single day, both when I'm telling someone something or when I need someone to tell me something. And I always say, explain this to me like I'm a four-year-old. That's one line. And then the other line, which gets me through my professional and personal life, every problem has a solution. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Be sure to cast your ballots on the way out.